right back at it again. Drinking homebrew. Um, this is a uh, strong Scotch ale, 7.4 ABV. But it was quite good. My homebrew. Did I say that already? Yeah, I did. <clears throat> All right, so what am I cooking? Well, I'm going to be cooking outside on the egg. Um, I've got it set up. I got to go out there and light it. But first, I need to prep the food. Um, what I'm going to be doing is <clears throat> I've got this recipe from a guy at work. Uh, he forwarded it to me from where I don't know where the hell he got it from. Internet. Um, and it's called uh, Mayo Magic <laughs> Mayo Magic Chicken Breast. Most people who know me know I can't stand mayonnaise. I can't stand mustard. But this uses mayonnaise for a wet rub that is supposed to tenderize and the chicken and make it really juicy and yada yada yada. So I got to thinking about it and I thought, well, I remember doing a pork butt and slathering that thing with mustard and then putting my dry rub on there and you couldn't even taste the mustard when it was all done. So I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put it on the egg. Um, I've got the can, the can, the con, um, wood chunks in there. And I'm going to bring the temperature up to 300 degrees and uh, I only got four chicken breasts. Um, so what I'm going to do next is uh, make up this uh, wet rub and uh, go from there. All right, let's get at it. Uh, first thing, ugh, disgusting mayonnaise. Nasty, nasty, nasty. I can't even stand the smell of this stuff. But, hey, you know what? Let's give it a shot. All right, so the recipe calls for two cups of mayonnaise. Ugh, God almighty. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm gonna have to drink more beer before I taste them. <laughs> ah, two cups, two cups, somewhere around here. Well, shit. Well, let's see. Close. Ugh. Nasty. Um, I'm trying not to get dead space. Um, I figure it'd probably be. Oh, I've got the um, the diffuser on or in on the egg, so I'll be doing it indirect. And. Um, uh, so, um, and like I said, I'm gonna, I gotta, gonna heat it up to 300. Oh, God, that's a nasty smell. Nasty. All right, ugh, oh, I think I'm gonna throw up. Ugh, jeez. Um, all right, what else we got going on here? Uh, I need some um, paprika. Um, Again, you know, the recipe calls for, what, uh, two tablespoons of paprika, so I know, Keith, you don't measure, you just toss the shit in there. I'm pretty much, well, anyway, what I say? Yeah, two tablespoons, something like that. I'm uh, not going to be exact, but there's one. Gotta get somewhere close, right? There's two. Um, what else? What else? Celery salt. Um, they call for two teaspoons, but I'm just gonna put a tablespoon in there. Uh, what else? It calls for ancho chili, um, but instead I'm going to put some uh, some hot Mexican chili powder. How much? 
uh, somewhere around here. All right. Um, and then uh, call for uh, the zest of one lemon. So let me see if I can't do this without killing myself. But um, yeah. And what else? I think that's it. What I'm gonna, also I'm going to do is, <clears throat> which is not part of the recipe, is uh, after it gets done, <clears throat> before I pull it off, I'm going to put a layer of, uh, got this jar of this uh, applewood, uh, <clears throat> what is it, uh, smoking thick uh, barbecue sauce. So I'm going to lather it up with that on the one side uh, and then pull it off. And what else? I'm just waiting to grate my finger. Um, so anyway, uh, let me uh, let me get this mixed up, and uh, we'll be back. All right, there is the chicken shit mess. Ugh, God, that smell awful. Ugh. I'm going to throw up. Anyway, I'm going to cover it up, stick it in the fridge, go, go out there and get the fire started. So I had an idea. Um, I don't have, I wanted to try that uh, where you take a whole head of garlic and cut off the top and then put some uh, olive oil in that and then wrap it in tin foil and stick it on the grill. I don't have a whole head of garlic, so I just decided to grab an onion and uh, slice it up and, uh, yeah. Put some of this um, Tasty Licks uh, Tree Hugger Veggie Blend on here, and then uh, I'm just going to stick it on the uh, stick it on the grill, uh, wrapped up, and uh, see what happens. It could be an ultimate fail, or it could be awesome. So, actually, you know what? I'm going to pull that up and. Uh, because the chicken, like I said, the chicken's probably going to take about an hour, and uh, it's the grill's still heating up. Well, I think it's probably at temp now. And uh, but anyway, so I'm going to do this, and uh, we'll be back. Hey guys, out on the deck, getting ready to put the chicken on. Uh, it's been sitting in the fridge for an hour or so. Those onions I put on there smell great, but who knows? I might end up burning those, so I don't know. All right, we'll be right back and show you what we're gonna do. Okay, before I do, this is the newest sous chef of the family. This is dog number three. Am I crazy or what? This is Becky. So, there you have it. All right, that should be close enough. Yeah, temp is at 300 degrees. Do a little burp there. Man. Get this. Nasty mayonnaise looking stuff <laughs> on the grill. I suppose I should have sprayed this, but I don't think I, with all this mayonnaise on here, I don't think I make it. Oh, damn. This shit's slippery. All right. One, glasses are falling off. That's two. That's three. Or let me spread them out here a little bit. Give them some air to, to breathe. All right, so that's it. I'll let that go for, you know, like I said, maybe an hour. I don't know. Um, I'll have to check it out later on. So um, we'll be back. All right, 30 minutes, let's check them out. Oh, whew, smoke it, smoke it, smoke it. All right, check out these onions. Oh. Yeah. Ouch. Oh, 
the onions over. It's getting a little bit toasty. All right. Um, I'm going to let it go another 30 minutes. We'll be back. Here's my controller. Okay, well, these might be overdone. Uh, I checked the temperature just a little while ago, and they've only been on there for an additional 15 minutes. So I'm going to put some of this uh, barbecue sauce on there. And um, lather them up. Um, you know, sometimes it's, I notice, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter what the hell I think. But I'm just going to let these things sit here for a second. I'm going to shut down the temperature. Um, and um, pull them off. And then we'll see what we got. Uh, a little bit more on this one. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. All right. Uh, let me take these onions off, too. Ow, they're hot. Okay. Um, I'm going to cut this off. Run. Take that out. Close it off. And, um, yeah. So... All right, let me get this stuff cleaned up and uh, we'll be back. Okay, there, well, there they are. Um, I double checked the temperature when I brought it in the house. I don't like to uh, check the temperature necessarily. Well, I don't go by the temperature off the grill because it could be, you know, uh, well, I can't think of the word, but anyway. I'm really scared because they still smell, I still smell mayonnaise, but I'm going to try it and let you know. <laughs> oh God. I might have to throw all these out. Oh. Well, cook wise, it's totally done. Let me get that timer turned off. Uh, you know what? Hang on. All right. Okay. Lord help me. So yeah, it's definitely done. Hot. Well, I don't taste mayonnaise. Let me make myself a sandwich. We'll be back. All right, that's Bill with us. Little sandwich. I went ahead and toasted that. I've got an onion bun. Toasted that out in there, grill because it's still 300 degrees. Um, and I'll take the one that I, the one that I, the one that I tried. Put these. Uh, it needed some. Um, It needed some salt, and uh, that seasoning I put on these onions oh, made them very salty, even so much for me. So, so onions, and then of course I gotta put some more sriracha. I gotta put some sriracha on here. I know it's a small plate. Um, here, let me tilt this over so you can see it. There it is. So, the onions, chicken, and the top of the bun. All right, let's 
dive in. <laughs> well, the chicken is definitely moist. Um, the onions are definitely too salty. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can't taste the mayonnaise, and uh, it's really good. So wow. Well, learned something new today. But I'm still not putting mayonnaise on any of my sandwiches. <clears throat> Appreciate you guys watching. And uh, we'll see you again soon. I hope.